going on YouTube today the project at hand is some uh, trailer wiring this trailer behind me is my buddy's trailer and I uh, painted this for him back many many years ago and redone all the wires but over the years because of uh, pulling into some pretty rough areas the wires have been broke loose busted up and uh, it's time to get the trailer back into working order so let's take a quick look so this is a trailer it's a 30 foot long gooseneck with two 12k axles underneath it so up here at the front the plug is still in pretty good shape uh, there's some wiring nuts here that somebody fixed on the quick one time so we're probably gonna fix that put that into more like a, a solder and heat shrink so Everything through the back looks pretty good. Don't see any issues there. Here's where the real issues begin. No, maybe not so much on this side. Let's walk over to the other side. That's where the bigger issues are. Okay. So these yellow lights are fine hasn't done anything to them but this is really where the problems start so this marker between the tires the one looks like it got pulled out or I don't know maybe just the connection broke these run up through here and the wire pulls through to the center that way it's protected there's what it's supposed to be and somehow that's come off also, I know that the brakes are not hooked up. He's completely broken this light. The, well, I say that. Maybe there's a cover. I don't know. We'll probably replace it anyway. And then back here is where it gets really bad. This was kind of busted up back when I done this trailer in like 2013. And it's really bad now from his dozer being on and off of it. So we'll have to do something with that. Okay, here. I know it was right here somewhere. So this runs to our side marker over here. And that one's broke. Not a big deal. But need to pull that up and dress it up in a way that will make it safe for a... Uh, the future that way if he pulls it over some rough stuff it won't be busting or broken wires very easily so I think it's all probably for now as far as just initial inspection goes so let's pull this up and get it where I can roll underneath it and take a really good look at it and see what all has to be done. I know he said there was some brake issues. And looks like there is a wire hanging down there. I don't know if you can see it. That, yeah. It shows up. So, I'm expecting some pretty big issues once I get underneath it. Let's get this pulled up and take a better look at it. So, after being up under the trailer and inspecting it pretty well, I've come to the conclusion that the wiring that's actually under the trailer isn't in that bad a shape. Mostly what's wrong with it is the plug and those few loose wires that I showed you. So let me show you the plug real quick. It is completely toast. We've got to definitely get a new one. So this is the plug, and if you look closely, there's some exposed wires down there. Also, when you turn the face of it over, you can tell it's just broke so there's no connection that's going to go through that uh it needs to be tight and secure that way contacts don't rub things like that and also down here 
this has been skin against something and when you dig into it there's more wire showing I don't know if you can see that but right there where my thumbs at that black wire is scuffed up and the white one or whatever yellow whatever it was beside it is scuffed up too so that's definitely where we need to start um, unfortunately I did not think that that was a problem I didn't really look either so I've got to go back to the parts store because I do not have another plug and I'm gonna to have to replace that section which is about six foot so that shouldn't be too bad um, and then I think that the wires underneath I can repair those what's going on guys we are back again today I've got some more parts for our trailer project but first I think I'm gonna pull this thing up here and pressure wash it because it is a nasty mess so let's get that started what's going on guys so we're back here on our trailer project I've made a little progress because of how hot it was and just trying to troubleshoot I didn't film everything but I've got it to a point where I can start showing some stuff so let's take a look so as you can tell I've got the tail lights working and as we look down the side here I've got the markers all working let me show you what I've got left now so for now what I'm doing is troubleshooting and some of the wire colors don't line up to be exactly what they should be uh, the plug that I had previously was laid out differently than this plug sorry so what I'm doing is attaching these wrapping them off and then I'm testing it to make sure everything is good before I put this wire here back into the uh, protector piece which is here so it's just a piece of tubing that they've welded in goes all the way up there to where it drops out hang on let me get that out of the way to where it drops out and then that way you can hook it in the bed and I'm gonna build it long enough to try to reach my bumper tag down here so I'm gonna continue to plug in some of these wires I've got to turn it off and then plug in a couple more what I what, what I'm looking for currently right now is the brakes to make sure that the brakes are working because it's important on a trailer this big that has a load capacity of about uh, probably somewhere 16 to 20 thousand pounds is what you can load this trailer so we definitely need the trailer brakes to work to make it safe for everybody else on the road as well as us so let's get that started and uh, go from there so if I was super confident I would just go ahead and solder all these up and heat shrink them and shove them in there and then test it afterwards but I'm not because of the, sh the, the problems that I've had so like I said what, what I'm really focused on here now is getting the brakes to work. So I tracked down my wires last night uh, over the brakes and there was a couple of issues there and I fixed those and I think that if I have everything correct that this wire, the blue wire from my plug, which is what should be your brake control, which I have in my truck, uh, should hook up to the red wire and that should give us trailer brakes. So to test this, I'm going to wrap 
these two wires together. Using a piece of tape just to keep them isolated, that way nothing uh, grounds out or whatever. So I should be able to get in my truck and test it. Let's see. So sorry about the noise. So what I'm doing to test this, I'm going to put it in park or drive, excuse me, and then I'm going to hold this brake down here. This is my brake box and I don't know if you can tell but that's definitely slowing it down I've got it turned up all the way which is hang on maybe it's a better way of doing it this way so as the trucks going forward you can see it's moving and the trailer is able to stop me so that's perfect that means that it's wired correctly the way that I wanted it to be wired and now we just need to finalize our wires and we should have the trailer uh, wiring job complete so for the last step of testing I'm gonna see if you can focus or if I can focus my phone I took a picture of yesterday of the different uh, wire colors there's only two that are off um, and that's for my right turn, I believe, and my brake control. But other than that, the colors all line up for the rest of them. So what I'm going to do now is hook those up, make sure that everything is 100% the way that I want it. As far as turn signals go and everything. And then after that, I'm going to solder all these connections in and make it nice and neat to get into uh, this protective tubing here. So, we've got this. The blue goes to the green. According to what I figured out yesterday. And then yellow onto yellow and just as a reference your your brake control and uh, tail markers are on your what should be the brown wire is what it should commonly be known as on anything newer especially if you're using like a a, a factory plug on your truck Okay, so I believe this is all of the wires that I need here. This should be my right turn signal. The yellow should be my left. Could be backwards, I'm not 100%. And then the blue wire now runs to the red wire on the trailer because that was screwed up. And then the white is the ground and then brown, like I said, is your tail markers slash brake indicators. This should have everything Everything should be correct, just for testing purposes. We're going to see and uh, run through right turn signal, left turn signal, flashers. And if all of this checks out, then we're going to solder and close this up. So, left turn signal is working. Right turn signal is working. So, from here... Everything should be ready to go. 
I think all of my marker lights are working on this side too. There's that one. This one I had to fix last night. I've got to tuck this wire away. Uh, no big deal. But at least the, the marker is working. That marker is working. That marker is working. So we're good to go. So to make it easier on myself, I'm going to retrieve this cable back through here and get it down on this box. That way I have plenty of room to work on it. Okay, should be able to see what I'm doing from here. Uh, pull a little bit more slack. Now what I want to do on this is I want to cut these wires. As you can see, I want to cut these wires individually that way I don't have one lump of where I'm soldering at. So I need one that's going to be longer, then it'll get shorter and shorter and shorter. That way it lines up to be more of like one piece instead of this mass that I'm trying to feed through that uh, small piece of half inch tubing. So like I said, I need this to not be all in one place. Like if I were to run these wires out here, and just met these wires right here, we're gonna end up with a huge uh, lump of wiring that will do no good to try to pull it through that tubing. The black wire in this is not used. It's not even hooked up to anything. So it, in theory, can just be well, not even in theory. It can be cut. If I wanted to put like a set of trailer, um, like floodlights on the trailer, I could use this wire to power it off of my auxiliary port, but that wasn't what the customer wanted my buddy. So I guess at some point maybe he might eventually want that, but Right now he doesn't, so I need to pick a wire next to be the shortest that will be down here. That way there's only, like I said, there's only one wire at a time that we're uh, making slightly thicker. But also I have to match this side as well. So um, let's cut this Let's cut this back a little bit. So now we've got this cut back. We can take off this protective coating. Be real careful when you do this not to unnecessarily cut these wires or you, you may ground a hot wire out wrapped up inside of there uh, uh, after time if something were to rub it, th rub it through your uh, tape or whatever. I would use heat shrink, but my my little gun that I got, uh, butane torch, is not very good. So, cutting that out of there, that just helped them when they round, wound all of these wires up. Our white is the trailer ground. So now that we've got, if you can see this, now our wires are about the same length from where there, there's about as much out of the shielding on each one of these. So that way when I cut them and start wrapping them, we can keep it nice and tight, like I said. So, um, for our shortest wire, we are going to use yellow. We're gonna cut the yellow on this side to match the length that we want. So when you go to measure this, a good way to do it is just simply to hold it up like this. And I know that I need to strip this wire. If I cut it here, this will give me enough. That way I can strip it back and wrap it up.
So, when these two meet, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more from this one. What I'm doing here is called candy cane, which means I'm just wrapping this around Then when I melt my solder onto it, it'll secure it all up. This takes a lot longer than just putting like butt connectors on it or something, but the end result is much, much better because you get a solid connection that can't break as easily. I'm gonna wrap this around and then I'm gonna wrap all the wires around it to keep this nice bundle nice and small and then cut my next wire and go on from there. So now that that all the wire that was exposed is covered in electrical tape, you just simply wrap a couple more times. And then I always use a knife on this kind of stuff. That way you get a nice clean edge. And then now it's on to our next wire. So as the last bit of work that I'm going to do to uh, secure this, I'm going to make sure the wires are all uh, in a way that they'll slide through the tube and then I'm going to wrap all of this in electrical tape that way that it has a nice covering, that way that uh, over vibrations and whatever else could be thrown at work wise at the trailer that all of this should hold up and stay secure. Also, anytime that you're using electrical tape, get a good brand. I don't know how well that can be seen, but that is Scotch 3M, uh, has a high and low heat range. That way that you cover yourself because worst thing that can happen is just start to peel and something ground out and you end up with uh, a problem that you can't use a trailer without having some work done to it so so now that all of that's complete what we're gonna do here is push my wire back through my tube This section that I've worked on is going to be a little tricky. It would be better if I had two people, one to push, one to pull, but I don't. It's just me, so. All right, now our section's going through, so we're going to pay close attention that nothing feels funny. And now that that section is in, I'm gonna pull the rest of it out. That way I don't put any strain on that. Let's check her out. So we only have one thing left to do, and that is uh, tuck in these wires here at this signal. Like I said, I worked on that last night, and I know that there is a little um, issue there. I just need to put some zip ties on it, and then we should be good to go. Okay, guys, so that's it for me. Thank you for watching. This ain't really as much a tutorial as just a quick video to show you what I've been up to. 
this is a great trailer I've used it many times myself hauling granite and pieces of equipment and it is super heavy duty and works great thank you guys for watching and uh, putting up with me we'll see you in the next one